So this video is to help anyone who needs to solder a pipe that's horizontal and it's hard to access. So here we have floorboards. Uh, it's been drilled into to secure a squeaky floorboard, but obviously this pipe was here. So normally you would cut a pipe and use something like this, a uh, soldering fitting or just an end feed fitting. And the issue here is you've got pipes either side floorboard, joist, this is sandwiched in, you can barely move it and it's going to take a lot of work uh, to try and work around this. So these are handy. Clip fix has the solder already there. If you need the part number this is from uh, Screwfix and this just clips onto the pipe. You prepare it as normal, flux it, solder it on and that's it. The issue with horizontal pipes is water can often sit in these. So this is perfectly flat, which means it's not draining from anywhere. So there's a few ways to work around this. So first thing you can do is use a wet vac and use some uh, duct tape just to create a seal. And then just hoover out as much water as you possibly can. Obviously in this case, the pipe uh, where it terminates does luckily have a, a drain plug on it so it's been possible to drain some water out but there was about three quarters still left so sitting just below here. Now once you've got as much out with the wet vac then a couple of things you can do. Um, don't ask. <laughs> uh, if you can get hold of a needle like this um, then pretty straightforward. Just poke that through and extract as much as you can. And another thing you can do is use a wicking method. So simply get some absorbent kitchen towel, twist the ends so that they fit through, and then poke that through. I'm looking through the camera, so it's a bit hard to judge. So just push that all the way down this will also give you a gauge of how much water is in there. So this is now dry, but you'll see, um, it'll give you an idea of how, how much water is left in the pipe. You can roughly work out kind of the height. And as soon as that starts to pretty much empty, then what you can do is push that all the way through and make sure it's contacting the bottom of the pipe and then just leave the whole tissue uh, kitchen towel just leave it hanging out like this what that will do is that will act as a wick and just the water will just come up and then absorb into the towel this is something that it's probably best to leave it overnight so it's not really you know good for an emergency repair but if you have the luxury of time, um, you know, I've put another kitchen towel underneath this and left it for a couple of days and came back and it's bone dry. If you want some extra insurance as well, um, instead of using a propane butane mix of gas when it comes to soldering, uh, MAP gas, so this burns hotter as well. So that will help what you would do is just warm up the pipe first and that will just help to evaporate any water that's left in there and then you should be okay. So obviously the main issue we're facing is when you try to solder with water it's not going to happen. So. With, I think with these three methods, so hoover out what you can, that's the quickest way, and then once you're done with that, try and syringe out as much as possible, and then wick out whatever's left, um, and then use the map gas, and you should be able to deal with that. 